God is relational. Uh, he, he loves and he can be loved. And he has created us in his image. We can love and we can also be loved. But the problem is that we are broken. Our capacity to love and our capacity to be loved is broken in our relationship with God. And sometimes we look at God, we constantly look at God as the prodigal son. Now we've all been prodigals at some time, but that's not how he wants us to live the rest of our lives. He wants us to move from being the prodigals to being sons and daughters. Those who enjoy uh, having him as our heavenly father. So to be so deeply rooted and securely grounded is for you through your personal experience. You have it in your possession that God's love for you is so great. There is no measure of the length, the breadth, the depth, and the height of that love. And that love is on you. You are surrounded. We need to be deeply rooted. Like a tree whose real roots have gone deep into the soil. So that no matter what storms blow and whatever happens, that tree is standing. We need to be deeply rooted. And he says, I want you to be securely grounded. It's like a building whose foundation is secure and cannot be shaken. Time comes and goes, but his, the strength of his love does not dissipate in any way. He says, I have loved you with an ever Lasting love. So none of us are outside the realm of God's immeasurable love. And really, the Bible points us to the cross. The center, centrality of the expression of God's love is the cross of Jesus Christ. So he says, I love you so much. And here's my expression of love. I'm giving you my son. If you want an, a solid, unchangeable expression of God's love for you, there's only one thing the Bible points you and me to. It says, look at the cross. Base your love on God's expression of it through the cross of Jesus Christ. Look to the cross. Anytime you have doubts if God loves you, remember the cross of Jesus Christ. Because God says, that's my display of my immeasurable love for you. When you realize how much God loved you through the cross, then you and I, and when we receive that love, that love makes us whole. We receive love, and therefore we're able to love others. So wholeness comes through this, uh, through receiving um, the cross, the message of the cross. Now, what I want us to understand is this. Because of his great love, there is abundant mercy and grace. Out of God's love, he releases mercy and grace to us. God is rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved. That means, he said, I love you so much, I'm going to be rich in mercy. And not only is he rich in mercy, but he continues there in verse 5. Even when we were dead in trespasses, he made us alive together with Christ by grace. You have been saved. So now, not only is there mercy, God does something for us by grace. But God is rich in mercy. And he's rich in no matter how much mercy you need, no matter how much grace you need, God's got more than enough for you. He's rich in mercy, rich in grace. Out of his immeasurable love, he's extending mercy to you. He's extending grace to you. Grace gives us what we do not deserve. God is merciful. He forgives all the wrong. But he's not only rich in mercy, he's also rich in grace. He gives us what we don't deserve. Do we deserve it? No. But God is rich in grace. And the Father loves us with an immeasurable, untiring love for us. 